particular facility in Kankia with the Nigerian German Energy Commission. We have gone a long distance. It does what it remains is a little push for that project to come on stream. We entered into yet another past partnership with the company in Germany, Helios Energy, for another 35 megawatts of solar facility again. And we have gone a long distance. We have acquired uh, you know, uh, the uh, environmental impact analysis report. We have appro got approval from ministries of power and so We have gone so far. The company has even gotten approval for several millions of dollars facility from abroad to come and do this project. So we have gone some distance. And I believe with the support, with the proper support from uh, incoming government, these programs will come as well. Yet again, we entered into partnership with the Chinese company when the Chinese uh, Prime Minister was here in Nigeria, and we signed an MOU for another 10 megawatts of uh, you know, solar in Gibia that will eventually be about 100 megawatts. That's their plan. And that, that too is you know, on fast track. They're moving very fast and rapidly in that direction. And we have the JICA project, which is 10 megawatts windmill facility, and that's from Japan. It's a support project that was started during Odisha Gomba in this period. And uh, you know, it came during the present era. It was continued, and now the turbines, the wind turbines, are ready to be hoisted. There are a few technical issues we've been working on with the Ministry of Power. In fact, just last uh, two weeks, I understand there was an effort to ensure that this project is completed and uh, commission. That's about 10 megawatts to of wind power, and uh, uh, exclusively too, we entered into partnership with another organisation that is handling the Obama Power Project Support for Africa. And that is a 10,000 megawatt facility, expandable to about 100,000 megawatts. And uh, that is to do with gas. They are going to do gas from the Niger Republic, bring it into Katsina, and provide it. So we have already started a lot of work on that. So we have about five different power projects. And all these projects are coming essentially from investment from abroad. And they are very monumental. On top of that, you know, uh, the, 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 the German company that came to work with us and run the name plant. We have a name factory that produces fertilizer from name trees, which is about in Katsina. And uh, there are so many other private organizations and companies that are coming into Katsina to work on different sectors. Solar minerals, uh, marble production, uh, you know, kaolin production and processing, uh, pharmaceuticals. There are a lot of interest to work in Katsina. And I hope, uh, you know, the income administration will be able to sustain this. We equally have, you know, established the Katana Dubai market. We are setting up a, a big international market about a thousand shops around the border to uh, the Dubai Dubai market. Katana Dubai market. That's what we call it. And we have another large shopping mall that we construct to attract people who come in and, uh, you know, settle in Katana and uh, establish business. To make the place a trading hub. Exactly. <laughs> so we are working on that. And our international airport has been expanded. The expansion program was started by Lake Posen Aragua. We completed it. Now a 747 bodied aircraft can land and take up in Katsina to any part, part of the world. We are looking essentially at the potentialities of exporting agricultural produce. And uh, I believe uh, whatever administration comes after us may be able to tap that opportunity and see what they can do in that direction. Okay, uh, so okay. these things we have been saying, I can underscore them, maybe define them just two words, good governance. But there is something about Nigerian politician. You are a politician. They don't know where to draw the line between governance and politics. Somebody wins election today. People from his party are already telling him of uh, what he will how they will contest election again in 2019. Yeah. When the person has not even offered governance exactly. to the people. Where do we draw the line? I just want you to talk to your colleague, your political colleagues out there. They will hear you. There's need for them to draw a line between politics and governance. At what point? Do we draw this line? How do we draw the line? Immediately back? after election. We are, we are claiming we are copying American democracy in the West. Yeah. If you notice, once elections are held and done with, everything takes a back seat. The nation takes a front seat. Yeah. That is the way advanced democracy is operating. Mm -hmm. But in Nigeria, elections are rarely com completed from inauguration grounds. And somebody will start saying 20 years so, so, so he will run for election. And we must learn to put everything behind until maybe a year to election or at least one ban on political activities are lifted. lifted. Before you now come back and say you want to run for office. But people start running for office before the man is even uh, inaugurated. People just start running for office. 
And that has to stop. We have to stop from the date of inauguration. If you remember, uh, uh, the Secretary of State, one time Secretary of State and uh, Senator Hillary Clinton, yeah. ran for office with Obama. Yeah, and lost. She lost to President Obama. Yeah. But, and what did she do? President Obama, Obama offered her a position of Secretary of State. She accepted. And she took it. Yeah. And she took her position. Yes. After that, she took a back seat. Yeah. Now I hear she uh, Hillary to Clinton wants to know for she wants to run. There's nothing wrong with that. What is important is people should learn to allow our country's democracy to naturally grow. Mm. And people should learn to be patriotic enough mm. to understand after elections, the people come first, Simple. along with the nation. Thank you. In Gaba, you were going to ask a question. Yes. Um, just make a question. You did. You've known the governor-elect. Uh, the former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable I mean, Bendo Masari. We were once in the same party with him, so I believe you know each other pretty well. Now, to what extent are you, because you have aligned part of your own success to the fact that when you came in, you completed every project that you found on ground. To what extent are you, uh, will you rely on the political uh, behavior of the incoming government <laughs> to uphold this uh, your own philosophy of government. Yes, you like what you did to your predecessor. Government is a continuous thing. Yeah. If I start building this block of classroom, mm. public funds, and I reach roof level, I have not put the roof, and another government takes over from me, whether it's PDP or APC, whatever party, that government has responsibility to complete that job yeah. for the benefit of it. Whether the classroom is not being built for governor, outgoing governor, yeah. or in case of Kazana for the prime show, mm. the classroom is being built for the good people of Kazana State. Exactly. So any responsible governor coming in or government coming in must be able to complete all ongoing projects that are published in return. Maybe if a project is, is a wasteful thing, uh, you will not do it. But a project that touches the lives of people. When I came into office, a lot of governors who are actually even are from the same party. When they become governors, they take over from their predecessors. Yeah. They don't go back to their projects. Yeah. Because of the risk they run of people saying, ah, the governor has not done anything. <laughs> All he has done is to complete the government's Exactly. So yeah. that becomes, you know, uh, disturbs some people, but it don't worry me. Because I know these are things that belong to people, the resources put in there yeah. belong to people, and I have a duty to complete them. I'll give you an example. The international airport was just awarded as I came. Expansion of the airport. I made sure I completed on the contact. And that is why the pilgrims from Katina now fly from Katina direct into Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, and back to Saloon for sale. Yeah. I made the construction of a state university. The, the, the foundation was laid exactly on 27th of March, 2007, when President Obasanjo went to Katina with the to close their campaign. It was that opportunity was used to lay the foundation for that university. One month later, I became governor. And uh, at the end of the day, I felt if I don't complete that project, because the children were at the temporary site of the university, where will those kids be? Now go there and see how the university is. Within a period of 18 months, we pumped over 11 and something billion naira, yeah. and I will even expanded it. So even I abandoned it because it's not my project. Yeah. And then people warned me, they said, look, Ibrahim, all these projects you are doing, at the end of the day, they will say, where is your project? This is the project. I said, so be it. These are projects that touch the lives of people, and I must complete them. And God, in his wisdom, helped me and guided me to not only complete those ones, but to do other credible other projects. So your excellence, that you you have written that we all have our individual differences. Yes, I'm sorry that you were able to do that, but not necessarily mean that the man coming after or somebody. No, it doesn't. Do. I understand that. But um, as a follow up to the question, uh, Madam Baba asked, what are your expectations? Of the government. You see, my belief is that every politician, no matter what party he belongs to, when he wants to be elected, he will tell you he is going to do uh, do you services. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. He is going to serve the people. Elect me, I will serve you. Yeah. Whatever party he belongs to, whether he belongs to PDP, APGA, APC, any party, when you go to the voters, electorate, you tell, elect me, I am going to do ABC for you. And ABC includes going ahead of the projects that he must on ground that will serve the people. Expectations, what do I expect from the income administration? I expect them to do whatever they can to ensure that the well-being of our people is sustained. 
and the development and progress we brought to Katsina is continued.